I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite podcast on the Citadel. So let's, so let's sit down while we have a moment to analyze that first. Not surprising, um, like I said, Daniel's a good dominant team. We've been here in the end of the day, so let's sit down while we have a moment to analyze that first. I really think one of the things that jumped out to me, Link was really a popular character that was going to be going forward, that was going to be getting the opportunity to, to, to really take advantage of all the strengths there. But Link was the second character to get knocked out. Link is really going to have to, to, to make a comeback with this. He's going to be going He's really going to have to take advantage of these opportunities going forward. Really great. So we're going to have to run from the situation. Exactly. So here we are in its second round, getting an opportunity. Tiger Festival 9, respect the pub. Got that right. That's one character you definitely have to respect. Kwame's got to be careful here. Link, this is really a risk-reward scenario. Link can really change this game with a win, but he has to oh, stay oh, available. Gone. Link is gone. Oh, and and Link is gone. Oh, Jigglypuff! Two games in a row. Wow. Dominant. Dominant. This really is... It, it, it's going to be an interesting set of circumstances Absolutely. now because Jigglypuff really has the advantage first to two yeah. wins. We're in pretty good shape right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Dan Jones. Can I comment here with you? Yes, of course. Perfect. So here we go. We're getting ready to jump into the next round of games. We're looking at Corey, fellow lead writer of Game Set Match Podcast, Danny Fabuza, Connor Smith, and Haley. Now, if I can just say, Bayonetta, who Danny Fabuza is playing, second to the left of the player cam. Bayonetta is a very new character and she's very high tier off the bat, which happens a lot because no one no one has figured her out yet. So yeah. everyone is only seeing her strengths. No one has figured out her weaknesses. So keep an eye on Bayonetta the whole match because she combo is really good. She hits really hard. She doesn't have a lot of lag or her ability. So pull her on her. She's well, good. the one thing I've noticed with Bayonetta, she kind of reminds me of Snake from the previous game. She has bit. very wide hitbox. She really can make up a lot of distance. A lot of range. Exactly. Really good spike. Look at that. Corin and Lucina down to one life left and Cario hanging out with 117 percent hundred and thirty one percent Lucario still hanging out putting up a fight there it is there's the counter one to one stop a move that we talk about that I think is very overpowered and yeah. no one has figured out how to stop it. The, the counter that she throws out freezes you in place for like five seconds and she can do whatever she wants to. Yeah. And that's what just happened with, uh, that's what just happened to the warrior there. And Bayonetta, Bayonetta is, uh, this is going to be one of those characters that you, they're either going to go through or they're going to run into a certain organization. And that's kind of what we've seen yeah. coming up to this point is there's a certain organization of characters, depending on how the brackets fall, that you might be at a disadvantage. Lucina, if you look at the group before, might have been an advantage in a group with Mario and Jigglypuff. Right. You look at it now against Bay someone like Bayonetta with the range that she has, she kind of gets put in a bad spot. Players, Mike O'Connor on the left hand side. Side. Drew, also known as Crow, so for any of you guys who think Twitch people, JSFA Crow is playing right now. And then we have Brooke in the middle and Jared at the edge. So we're looking at Peach, we're looking at Zelda, we're looking at Lil Mac, and we're looking at Roy. Yeah. What that matchup's going to bring you to this because of the characters here. But this match is very strong. Very curious to see how it holds up against the well, I can tell you right now what I'm interested to see is for, for Little Mac. Little Mac is really in a position where he builds up his strength over time. And what happens is at one point or another, you really have to take advantage of when you have your super punch, when you have those opportunities to do that max damage or get that key knockout. So you see he's locked oh, yeah, up in KO go. right now. He really has to take advantage. There's the knockout. So he loses the KO. 
and that ends the set. One point or another, you have to take advantage of the opposite. You have to swing. Much like an actual box. You have to take the swing. Okay. Oh! Excitement on the field. Really? Oh, high damage. Oh! oh double man. knockout! There we go. So there goes Peach as Jared has been knocked out of the first round. Zelda still in. Roy's still in, and Little Mac with the lowest percentage at 13 percent. Oh! 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 Zelda oh! is still in! Oh! True! Oh! Wow! Oh my god! Wow! What a come from behind win! Oh <laughs> Drew McLaughlin! JSFA Crow! Putting wow. in work as Little Mac. It's wow. what we talked about. You roll in, you roll out, you put in work where you can. You find your openings. Absolutely. That's and something Little Mac does did really that well. To perfection. Wow. And especially for a newer player who doesn't have a lot of experience with Smash, that is an impressive 5v1 differential. Let's bring him on in. The Crow. Look at these. Drew McLaughlin. Look at these baby girls up in here. <laughs> Drew. Yes, sir. Two wins with Two Little wins. Mac. Two wins with Little Mac. I want to talk to you about that group of characters. Characters going into it. You okay. got Zelda, you got Peach, and at one point or another, you got Roy. Correct. I was asking Corey about this. Is that an easy group for Little Mac to be in, given what he brings to the table? So I'm going to be honest with you. This is my first time playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, one of the things to keep in mind, I think a lot of people know. One thing to take a look at is Mr. Game & Watch. Absolutely. Everyone knows about Mr. Game & Watch and his, his, his level 9 smash and being able to knock anyone out at one time. Yeah. He's really exposed to the fact that he has a, a really good smash up of balance. So I think at one point or another, if Mr. Game & Watch can really connect at one point or another and, with and what you're seeing right here is what I was worried about. Charizard staying on opposite sides. Staying on opposite sides and playing that in the other two characters. Yeah, I, I mean, if you look at these two characters, as Mr. Game & Watch down to one life, a little bit of an error there. But in this, in, in this instance, these guys... <laughs> J-Rod. J-Rod, 0269, good shit. I tried so hard, it got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Lincoln <laughs> Park, you thought you couldn't escape Destiny. I think really... One of the things to keep in mind here, which really is amazing, King DDD in the previous in the previous uh, uh, Smash Bros. titles was able to pull minions yes. Yes. as his as his uh, item that he would throw out there. Now it's a spike ball that does residual damage every time it hits someone. That's one thing to keep in mind. It does a lot of damage, especially when you're in a oh, oh, it doesn't matter in this particular case. King DDD putting in that final hit <laughs> that we keep talking about. Wow. So we saw Charizard. How can you not root for Charizard? Actually, 20th again, anniversary. Pokemon, right? We gotta give it a go. And that's two Pokemon. Charizard, two Pokemon Jigglypuff we is Charizard. We must battle it out to find out who is The G-Zone Crow. Hukaw! <laughs> 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 Um, those of you guys. Well, Let's take a look at this three man style. We have Cloud, Lucas, and Kirby. Really the weirdest combination I think we've had so far up to this point. I, 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 I appreciate the most is we have very classic game characters here. Some originators, and then of course Cloud. Who, you know, <laughs> we don't really know if seven. Cloud belongs at this point. <laughs> How are you? Thank you for having me here. This is an honor and privilege. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what Charizard brings to the table. We saw, we saw him fought in the free list. He yeah. brings this ability to really take whatever would be considered damage right. and really close that gap. Sure. Is, is that something that almost matters that, that is advantageous? It does appeal to me. And while I got to say, being a uh, big avid Pokemon fan from the original, I, I, I got to say, Blastoise is the most beautiful thing made by man. However, what Charizard brings to the table is speed. Power, he brings power, power, lots of power, lots. and he's just in, in that shade of purple. He looks good. So uh, I'm a big fan of him. I feel like he's got very little weaknesses. But we have to remember, at canon, you know, you douse his tail, he's dead. So <laughs> realistically, uh, not the best, not the best guy you could pick. But uh, in the video games, he's pretty good. He's As pretty good. Lucas wins the first round with four KOs. Wow, not bad. When you look at what's brought to the table. Uh, I'm really interested to see, we 
watched in round one Bayonetta's ability to take the rain and bring it down and really close the space between one and the other. What I'm really interested to see is whether or not Lucas can take it, can stay out of that range and, and, do, and put in some work. Really, Lucas has an opportunity to just survive. Really, to me, the combination of interest in where the damage is going to be, in my opinion, is Captain Falcon. Thing. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think damage-wise, you that for I don't know. I, I, it's, it's, I have to think to call it one way or the other just because of how experienced this field is. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Oh, there goes Lucas. Really exposed Captain Falcon. And that it's knocked out. Oh! This is what we talked oh, about gone? before. Lucas with a low percentage. If Lu oh, oh no! Lucas, Lucas is caught underneath oh, the bridge and he's out. Falcon versus Bayonetta. This is what we said in the beginning. And there it is. And there it is. Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Taking away that range. Closing in, backing up, and doing as new. This really is... <laughs> Dan Jones with the shaking of his head. Jigglypuff already has two wins under his belt. And now Bayonetta, the first to three in the entire Which tournament. Oh, no. All right, so we're taking a look at our viewer list here for absolutely, everyone to stop by. Lock and key. Lock, thank you for stopping by and hanging out for a little bit. Present me, J-Rod, KJ, Lewis, Lovers, Montaners, and Tiger Festival 9. All hanging out with a solid way of streaming. Yeah. Chris Enemy also stopped by as well. Thank so you. So let's talk about the match we have. We have Link, Little Mac, Charizard, and Kirby. Yes. Very cool. Little Mac is the one character with two wins bringing it to the table at the current moment. If we take a look at it right now, this is a little different. Charizard is up right now, 92%. Yep. Damn it. This is very different than the fights we saw before. And part of this is because Little oh. Mac is in the feed. Yes. Yes. And I mean, the thing to remember with Charizard is also. So the biggest thing, the biggest thing for us is that we can little match survive those big fire dash hits as we just not said right there. Can he survive those little hits? Never the other single hit that we don't have to but Link has a lot of work to do. Really missed an opportunity going 0-2. He, he really didn't have a great performance. He really needs to make up some ground here if he wants to get into that top eight. And Kirby really didn't take advantage of it. Oh, oh. Little Mac at 108% now. But this is different. Little Mac can do a lot of damage here. He needs to finish the job. Professor Manimal, do it, Drew. As Absolutely. you can tell, the crow's nest in full effect here. Crow's nest in full effect. However, the first round did go to Link, who, as you said, seized the moment, took advantage, and beat the two undefeated players. There you see the four knockouts by Link there. And it's like we mentioned, Link has to take advantage of this second fight here. If he walks out of here with one win and three losses, there is, an, there is a very limited opportunity for him to make the top eight. So as we select our next group here, as we go through the tournament, we have our four players. Now this, of course, features the, one of the MVPs of the first set of rounds, Dan Jones. Absolutely. That Jigglypuff back in action, flying on top of the head, it's going to be a good fight. <laughs> but one of the things I want to point out is he's kind of in a group that can do a lot of damage. He's got Roy, he's got Cloud, two guys that have been able to hold you with their certain combinations. They really can do a lot of damage here. Yeah. Now, what's interesting to me, again, can he recover from that? Not so great for him. Can Jigglypuff stay at range against two sword packs? That's the biggest thing for me. Nothing nice is done there. And that is fun. The biggest thing. I'm going to stay ranged, because you have two ranged characters up here, and you have to stay close. And the ranged characters stay ranged long enough to make sure they stay close. I mean, one of the things I want to point out is that Peach is kind of in an interesting position. She can kind of play outside, play away from everywhere else. And Peach has two supplies. Remember, we saw her with high percentages staying in the fight. But Peach, this is going to be a close one. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! What just going happened? Oh my, oh my goodness. And Jigglypuff in an Jigglypuff epic turn of events. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, and there it is. There it is. Two, two, oh, oh. Domination. domination. We have two players at 4-0. Danny Fabuza 
and Dan Jones. And Dan Jones. My money is on those two gentlemen in the front. Well, remember, when em elimination comes oh, around, it's not based on how you get into the top eight. I, don't, I couldn't believe that happened, but I wasn't. I didn't think I was going to die. I thought I had another life, I didn't really care. That's why I tried, I tried to go out and rest on the edge and for Kyle to get out. And I missed it, and then I just saw this thing hit me. I was like, okay, I'll take it. Well, I should take a look at the new group of four, Mario. Really interesting combination of characters. These are almost the group of characters that really missed out on taking advantage of moves that they were trying to close around, especially with Mario. We even talked about it earlier. King King needs minion change. Oh, yeah. From having minions in Brawl to now having the residual spike ball that does a lot of that damage. So I'm really interested to see how Lucario, as he gets hit with a down smash, a very heavy one, adds an extra 20% to that damage. See, there's the spike ball again. Yeah, I don't know if he knows how to handle the projectile. Because it's, it, 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 if you don't know what you're doing, it's very annoying. Well, in this situation with the projectiles, what, how exactly would you, would you respond to that? Get in his face. Um, you can hit them back, you can rip, you can volley them back at him, but if you don't want to deal with them, you get in his face, and very good job by Lucario. Very good job. Lucario with the smash. <laughs> Thank you. So Connor just took that match. Yes, yes, yes. Come on over. Hey. The Crow stopping by. So I just want okay. to give a shout out to Prof Manimal, Not Daenerys, and Neo Martyr. I saw you guys stop by from the Crow's Nest. Yes. Woo! <laughs> Is that your followers? <laughs> <laughs> and cheers. And cheers. Tink. Uh, David. We are able to get the two wins. Seems like we have a lot of people with two wins right now. Uh, and then we have the two four O's. Are you a little concerned with the performance of the people up there? Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I practice against it. Well, either way, you got yourself the two wins. There's a chance here, and good luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate All it. All right. So here we go. We're taking a look at our group of three. This is the second round of the group of three. How's it going, Joseph? How are you? How's it Joseph? So, Dan, Dan Joseph told us that this is the first time you did Mario. It was. And I noticed you've got to you tell me a little bit about the that you've got about the counters. Well, uh, I wanted Dan to give me some experience before that uh, down B counter uh, that really came to be used. Also, the uh, aura charge that uh, once, once he had explained it to me, sure. it became a lot more fluent. And, uh, it, was a lot, it was a lot easier to use. <laughs> Yeah, take a look at our group right now. Captain Falcon down in the line. Mario still has two at the moment. Mario really kind of got caught with disadvantage in the first round. I think a really tough group as he's down to one life. Lucina really has an opportunity to take advantage of where she's at right now. She's at a little set. It was also telling us that Mario really has this ability to go from as soon as he breaks up the percent, that aura really makes him If you're able to get into the top, if you're able to get into the next round, like you could take advantage of that given the group that's going to be there. I so I, I think that um, if, if I do make the top eight, I feel like I will be at disadvantage just because of uh, experience sure. differential. But um, knowing that Lucario does have that ability, uh, I feel like that I can you know take advantage of that. Well, we're in full effect for the 20th anniversary. We have plenty of hope on here, Charizard, Jigglypuff, Lucario. Good luck, my friend. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you. Smith. So, Brian, do you want to come on over and announce the top eight while I get some food? Please sit with me. I need to get some food. Get some food. Ah, oh, look at that. We are announcing the top eight for the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Walters, our judge. So, uh, we had enough people that won the second time around that everybody in the top eight either has two wins or four wins. Beautiful. 
Dan and Danny with undefeated so far. Our undefeated people, Danny Fabusa and Dan Jones, are in the top eight. Yeah. Yeah. The others. Drew. Drew is in the top eight. Joel. Joel. Yanni. Yanni. Kwame. Kwame. Furpo. Furpo. Eric. <laughs> and Fergie. Oh! Oh! The top eight ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is in. So, Fergie. So, first round. Top eight. First round. First round. We have to change the stock to three and the time to eight minutes. And it is Dan, Drew, Joel, and Yanni. Oh! oh. Gentlemen, please take your seats. Hey guys, real quick, let's give a round of applause to everyone else who played in the first round. Hey. GG, everyone. <laughs> we are having a good time here. We're going into the second match of our best of three uh, first top eight of single elimination. Now, everyone, I'm going to change my opinion. Jigglypuff is a character you need to get rid of quickly. If you do not do him, do not get rid of that. It's, it's a pain in the ass. It is gone. Dan Jones is actually a Would you call Dan Jones a prohibitive thing to win this the way, he's right the way he is playing right now, if he continues to play and only continues to study his other opponents and get better and continue this undefeated streak, so sure. Where do you rank him? Because the other undefeated players, Danny Fabuza with Bayonetta. Bayonetta is another there. strong opponent that, if, that is undefeated. So I would like to see these two undefeated going and get this done. I love the best offense is your best defense, and these are both best defensive players. Get in, get out, strike, punch back. Up there. Charms are and down. Charms are the stopped. one light. Everyone's still in three. Everyone's still in three. Including the fan favorite little map. In a smaller map, if you notice, know, the last two maps. So it is Who's less surface. Less surface area, but that's going to benefit. You're going to want to say Jiggly Puff because it's going to fly a little bit better than this. And the objective one smash is quite easy. Down to the down to one and take it And deep. Don't score three. Little Mac is definitely a target. He's at 46% compared to everybody right now. So Charizard won the plane one. Had he made a comeback, he King has been possible. Charizard is probably gone. <laughs> He's Short, gone. simple, to the point. He's probably gone. <laughs> now, King Deep is at three. Oh, oh, then he's down to two. Oh, nice boat too soon. Hey, coming in. Oh, intense matchup here. Everyone down to two, including Jigglypuff. No longer able to hold that. No longer able. Oh, DDD down to one. Sorry. Sorry, he's down to one. And Charizard's at 129%. If Jigglypuff is able to strike, I'm going to see Charizard the next to go. And with a KO punch, and gone. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Hold on. With the rock. King DDD's only his ground with that spike ball. Charizard, does he have a chance to defend? One more kick win. There you go. There you go. Get Jigglypuff out of here. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh my god! There we go. About time. Somebody took him out. One across the board of the So we are now tied at one, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. That is an impressive turn of events. With that Jigglypuff still at the less of the 10th and only 10%. To, to, to acknowledge Neil Martyr, Jimmy Puff is in, in the hands of this player, indeed OP. Okay. Indeed OP. Okay. Incredible. Just to take a quick moment here as those players wrap up, and obviously call the action if we have any eliminations, but once again, reminding everyone to please, for extra life, specifically for the children's hospital in Virginia, if you decide to donate to our lovely, lovely cause, please go to extra life and go to donate. Look up the GSM podcast. We really appreciate it. We're trying to raise 200 and Oh, oh, oh my oh. God! Can Little Mac do it? Can Little Mac do it? Come oh. on, no! Dan Jones is on fire! Oh, he is on fire. Can he be stopped? No one has stopped him before. We are going to find out in this final.
Let's look at the KD. Look at that. That is a much more even KD spread this time around. This is a much better fight, a little bit more fair. You wanna know why? Smaller ground. Absolutely. It comes down. Satoru. Satoru. It wasn't, yeah, I think like it linked with like a Three, two, one. <laughs> like maybe his creation is a lot of fear right now. We're starting at it again. Uh, you know, I want to say that this is the we're looking at a Lucas He's not. He doesn't have his wheel. Doesn't have gray hair So you know, but they never it's on the I gotta be honest with you, I'm gonna transparent about my weaknesses. Uh, Dragon, creature, Pokemon, faces, Valiant, Night Wolf, Sword, and Shield. It's not looking good for me. It's not looking good for me, right? Uh, the, you know, you know, George and the Dragon, huh? 99% of the time in Pokemon, the dragon gets destroyed by the, the 1% who is the knight with the sword and shining shield. So, going forward, I do not believe I have a chance against the Pokemon. You're the underdog. I, you have the eye of the purple dragon. I mean well. I want I want to pop some of I am bringing the 1% to heal. I am, I am feel the burn of the Charizard. Okay? So I, I am bringing these valiant knights to heal. These, these one percenters that can afford their fancy magic swords. He's getting fancy shields. Active dragon activist. Many times. Please be brave. So and let's we'll take a look here, right? So we'll say Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump. Oh, the very word makes me. That is that is not that is not endorsed by the GSM podcast. Just so we no one is endorsing that from so, the You know what do you think, guys? I mean, Blake Rocky, this could be anyone's control. Absolutely. Now, again, back to that super seven. Let's find that one more thing to bring it out. So what's gonna be interesting is that you see damage stacked up in the back and build that man. Lucas Lucas and Andrew Stack and having a damage there. They still can't bring this thing down. You got one more thing that's gotta get into the she can't move around. <laughs> but, and yet, there we go. Those are high heels that have guns. That's true. That's true. That's true. And don't forget, Zero Suit Samus also has those jumps and boots. High heels. So we have ladies in high heels in this true. Pity that Zero Suit Samus has those jumps. That's true. It's proving that Jurassic Park could have happened. Jurassic World. Revelation, ladies and gentlemen, right here for the first time on DSM by using Super Smash, Jurassic World is the <laughs> so where we at now? We can take a look and see. Take it out. Take it out. You know, Luke and Mario are one. They gotta form a collective effort here and really figure out how to juggle this. So what you what you're saying is, yeah, and I, I I find that in all matches, my the enemy of man is you know, alien versus predator, cat versus dog. <laughs> Seriously. Remember, once you walked out of that, it's the second, it's the second favorite match. Yeah. So you had a KO after. So how many KOs are you going to get this match? There goes Mario. So Lucas is here. We talked about earlier. From the shadow, he's not going to be. He's the one guy that actually is. He's still going away to out the chase. You are a man. Was that for, uh, uh, what's the name? Your there you go. Larry David. There you go. So, Bayonetta was Bayonetta. The match is played by I, I, I challenge Bayonetta to try this against me. And wait for it. Oh! There it goes. That's the KO. That's the KO. That's the end of the game. Bayonetta just knows how to juggle these characters. Oh, it is Danny Lusa. I forgot. I revoked my challenge. Danny's going to kick my keister. He has beaten me all the time. So it's going to be very interesting. I think Link gets in by the strength of his performance last time, but Mario putting on a very strong performance here. I do think the finals list, if I'm correct, are Bayonetta and Link, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out here shortly. So. Hold on, Brian is oh. announcing the final four. We're into the top four. Top four! We have Annie, Kwame, Dan Jones, and Yanni.
So what is the first match? No, it's, it's all four of them. Go. Oh, it's all four of them. That's right. And then top two. Wait, wait, wait. Do we want to do two ones? Well, all four. We're doing all four. Top two advance. Because, because if you're going to get eliminated, it's got to be scary. I, I will be very... I'm surprised to say this. I'm going to sit by you guys. Absolutely. Please do. I don't know who's going to take this. I don't know who's going to be a clear cut winner. Now, if I had to guess, at the beginning of this tournament, I predicted, and I told them, especially after seeing the matches, I think it's Dan and Dan. I think it's our undefeated boys going into the final. I, I but think that is... Probably we haven't seen yeah. played what's going to happen. Three, two, I'm really coming one, from a very slow start to get back to the Again, as we've seen with every new batch of new batch of players, This can change everything, one point or another. This can change the entire dynamic. There is a possibility neither of the four of players can make this final. Absolutely. And that's what is so interesting and so scary about this season. Oh, please. All sorts of crowd chance. It's worse than a Charizard out for Charizard the first time loses won. his first life. 82% win. Bayonetta is gone. gone. We are at a fresh game. They accept the charge. <laughs> 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 Mixing <laughs> politics and Smash Brothers Serious. since 2016. Yeah, of course. GSM podcast. As always. So look at this real quick. If you look at these percentages again, Bayonetta is a percentage down. It's just jiggly pop. Link is in the middle of the spot right now. Link needs to stay out of the way. Link needs to stay out of the way. Exactly. I, I don't think we can get one of these in the Just sheer power of Bayonetta's discipline. Oh! And jiggly pop. Oh! Oh! oh my goodness. Oh! Oh! Bayonetta oh down to one! And now Charizard. Charizard is eliminated. This creates an interesting link. Still with two lives. Bayonetta, this is the first time she's been down in a fight. Oh my god. Oh! Link! Oh! Aggressive! Wow! 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 Oh! And now Link trying to return the favor. This is insane as <laughs> Tiger what? Festival Just 9 with the Rufio call. <laughs> <laughs> Rufio! There he is. Oh, 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 my God. Oh. Bayonetta again. This is okay. impressive Very aggressive. Play. Impressive play. But notice this. This is the first time you've seen Bayonetta in this position. She's caught in the middle. And in playing down. And playing oh. down. But can she get up there? Can she get up there? Get oh, yeah. Looking not for that caught yet. Looking Dan talked about it earlier. Yeah. Playing yeah. edge. Yes. Dan really has an advantage yeah. playing the outside compared to playing the inside. Because his recovery is so much better oh, on those something. edges. <laughs> 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 A lot of dancing. A lot of dancing. <laughs> oh! Interesting edge. Interesting edges. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jiggly Pump playing aggressive again. And oh, almost. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh, what's happening? Bayonetta down! Bayonetta is out. His first elimination. Bayonetta. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Wait! Wait! Link is out. Jigglypuff with one life left. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Amazing edge oh, wow. Amazing edge What a turn of events. That was wild. Wow. In a surprising what? turn of events, Bayonetta no KOs that round. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jigsaw Pop with six. Unreal. <laughs> we are game one. Hashtag TSM Super Nice Brown. Put that in there if you hashtag Dan Jones. <laughs> we gotta know why he's being hashtag. This. This is really going to be an interesting second I'm match. Danny so Kabuza has not had to play from behind no, this whole time. At, at all. At all. And he may not even get out of this, of this round. My God. This I was not This puts Dan Jones in the He really is in a position where he can play aggressively. He doesn't necessarily have to. No. In fact, I might play an edge play and wait and see if everyone else has to. Which is, of course, in strong suit to play the edge game. Yeah. 74% for Charizard. Charizard again, finding it. Ah. Just as a reminder, as we have this amazingly exciting season, again, we are speaking for us. Specifically for us, we're trying to do $200 for more the Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania. We want to put this out there. You can go to the Extra Life website and choose to donate. Look up the GSM podcast. Please donate it there for the facility. And we really, really want to be able to give you the exact So, thank you all for that. If you donate, which you are watching, and you are feeling generous, please put this out on Twitter and use the hashtag uh, GSM Superfast You can also find us on uh, the to donate and stream on Facebook. So, this is really what I want to see. See everything that we've done, everything that we put together this last week, a long time ago. Link real quick at 127% to start. That's, that is high percent of damage right there. Frank doesn't have a whole there goes Link. There goes Link. Cars are down to two lines. And that If he doesn't get the win, 
then that hits. Bayonetta's KO, which remember she had known in the previous tournament, to Link's KO, which I believe was around 4 or 5. Yes. Has to win this match if he wants to get into the finals. Oh! 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 My god! Oh! Wait for it! Wait for it! Oh, my it. god! Wow! 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 Look at that! 1v1. Bayonetta has 40%. That is totally achievable. If they're smart players, this is a tense and close match. Look at the aggression. In the Look at the aggression. You notice there's a complete change of. Oh! 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 This is a tense matchup. This is insane. No other way to describe it. Woo! This is crazy. This. We talked about it earlier. The edge play for Jigglypuff. You don't see it anymore. Bayonetta is drawing him into the center. Which is the smart way to do it. It's a good space. This is the most match we've seen. I can't say it enough because it's so exciting and so cool. Wait for it! Jigglypuff! With the elimination, this changes everything. Two. Wow. No. Jigglypuff ending the conversation. Comes this down. changes everything now. Oh, the wow. first to two Link versus Jigglypuff is your final. Right. The last fight here, Jigglypuff versus Link. I'm marking that one on one. <laughs> Remember, we talked about it earlier. Link has this amazing ability of combining the damage he does with the range he takes. The original Nintendo 64 is Players one and two from the original spreadsheet are here in the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Our judge is also the psychic. Our judge is also a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> it. So as we take a look here, Jiggly Puff has actually made up a little bit of ground. She's about 30 points of damage Absolutely. off. Absolutely. Now she's made up a little bit of leeway here. Uh, and actually taking the lead here with 73% of the This is the finals, KJ Lewis. Yes. Best out of three. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's going to be? Ooh! Uh oh. Good edge guard. Nice edge guard. Link is down one life. This is the best out of three final match. Dan Jones. This is Kwame Apia. Absolutely. A hell of a match. We had exciting matches all night. Um, not the match that we expected, frankly. No. We all called Dan versus Dan. I was expecting a rip child's out. Or some burn. I wanted my friend Mayani to get up in there. But, uh, Puff at 107 on three. Oh, Link oh. with a dominant smash. Absolutely. Link was, sh was showing his dominant Now, the question becomes, at this point, Jigglypuff's flying, as you said, doesn't matter as much in this stage because of how small the stage kind of is. So, when it comes down to the difference between doing this aggressiveness and the ability to move that shield effectively because Link is going all out with that sword. Exactly. And the boomerang throw. Not a lot of bow action for Link, but to be honest, Link now remember, we talked about this earlier, that bow action really is what creates the range of what takes it in. In this instance, though, that was because of Dan Gordon pressing this, that range can't be completed. Absolutely. And, and it's ultimately the balance of these characters. Eventually, then you end up seeing uh, uh, Link's strike. Uh, uh, top four finisher, Yon. Well, well, thank you. Well, thank you so much. I, I, you know, this is a fight that we all face every day. And it doesn't seem dangerous, but it's And yet we are armed with fatigue. Every day we fight this battle. Every day. Damn uh, Whatever your race is, <laughs> I give you my seat. I give you my seat. This is the battle for, for, for all the fans. <laughs> you know, 
Your character. Dan Jones is no not switch. switching his no character. No switching. Jiggly puffing this out. Two parts going for fire. Oh, he has, he has nothing to lose, though. No, he really doesn't. It, Marth has what Link lacks in speed, Marth may, more than makes up for. It's a more sword based moveset. Um, probably the best combination in the final 1v1 one one that you can have for this, a sword speed character. The, my, With one, the sword. My, my one concern is the ship that comes too fast. Art falls into the Yes, I, I think that Jigglypuff can, but it's going to be using that shield effectively and avoiding Mark, who has amazing rolls and amazing speed. Uh, Heavy, light, something other than a humanoid with a sword. <laughs> a pointy stick is not a 110 for Marth. 
One tenth of one. He is getting the damage up on this. This is 89%, Ooh. but that puts him in a concern. At the end of the day. Oh, wait. That is the romantic. And there's always a comeback. There's always a comeback. Oh! Wow! Wow! Oh! 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 We are tied at one! Tied at one! My god! Oh! This is a dangerous fight. Martha, though, Martha at 139%. That, that is a lot. Scary. And that's game! For those you're about to see this, and there it is. Unreal. Hell of a game. Hell of a match. Dan Jones. I wet my pants. Unbelievable. Dan Jones. Dan Jones is the champion of February's game set match. Super Smash. <laughs> no shots for everybody! Come over here. Hell of a game, my friend. Hell of a game. Thank you so much. Wait Thank you so much. Man, it was, yeah, it was, it was a tough one, man. Your, that was an intense match. Was over, you're, you're, you're down. You, you go down 0-2 to start the night and climb all the way back to get to the final. Talk to us about the resilience. Oh it, was, it was literally all, it was, it was just all about focusing on getting to the next game. You know, it was, it was tough, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't just try to breeze through. It was all about making sure I played as hard as I could in the current game. But I mean, I sure every single game I got the best possible result. And it came out in the end because at the end of the day, I didn't win the last game, you know, but I got through based on how many kills I got, you know. Hell of a performance. To be, I'll, be, I'll be sharing with you, I did not expect you to come back to that final with the Dan Jones, have a seat, man. Take a seat, take a seat. Dan Jones. Winners <laughs> and champion of the first ever GSM Super Smash Bash. <laughs> Congratulations. How are you feeling right now? Talk to us. Uh, I'm waiting for the, the heart rate and adrenaline to go down. <laughs> uh, during some reason, I thought I had one life left when I had two. And I was like, if I lose this game, it's fine because I can like, try really hard next time and win. So when I miss that rest, and I died. I was like, I like sat back, so I was like, oh shit, game three. And then I was like, oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> so that was, I don't know why I did that. That was too early. Uh, but when we started this podcast, it really was uh, for everyone else to be a part of. And we got 20 people to play a game. Hey. And to watch. Don't you try. Right All, right All the work. All the work. To watch Dan Jones. Um, Win a match, win a belt, and a small gift card. It's, it's a, you know, it's all small stuff. But the fact that this podcast, which is, is fairly known, it's, it's regional in the northeast of the United States, can be on iTunes, have its own website, do a charity to give four hundred dollars, which might not seem like much to a lot of people, but four hundred dollars to the Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania. It means a lot to me as a co-creator. I'm sure it means a lot to you and Jesse, who I know are watching. Um, uh, what a co-creator of the podcast. So thank you, Don, um, for, for taking just something that we wanted to do. Um, yeah, I want to give a special thanks because we, we've been able to do this tournament. Not only through the support of the viewers at home. Uh, and kind of the... the to the lack of better term, blood, sweat, and tears that we But tonight, the players that came out, yeah. without their level of play, yeah. without their level of play, like, wow. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I cannot thank everyone that came out. I can't thank everyone that watched it home enough because that is ultimately what we were shooting for. And hopefully, next time we can do it bigger, we can do it better. I see, um, Give it our dash saying, do what Markiplier does and go to many charities and help out the most. And that's what we want to do. Anytime. Anytime, man. Well, you know, we, we, we uh, this podcast, and again, KJ Lewis 25 is uh, uh, one of the co creators. You see his tag here in the conversation. Rocket League next Rocket time. League next time. We'll see how that goes. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> Mortal Kombat votes. We're gonna find out. Either way, we're gonna figure it out, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, of course, gentle ladies. 
for everyone who's watching tonight. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much to be able to do this for you guys, to be able to give to this organization. That guy right there Your champion. is the champion of the Game Set Match Super Smash Bash for 2015, or 2016. 2016. 2016. 2016. Oh. Marty! Marty, we have to go back! <laughs> we will be doing an episode of the Game Set Match podcast tomorrow, uh, which will go up Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Remember, iTunes, the podcast app on your Apple device. Go ahead and search the GSM podcast. You get all of our season two content. Thanks for the donation, guys, and all the support. Thank you, Keenan Lewis, for coming to me and starting. Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, ladies, like I mentioned, you can head over to uh, 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 the podcast app on your Apple device, the GSM podcast. Search it up. Hear all of our content. Um, as a secondary thing, <laughs> as a secondary thing, you can head over to gsmpodcast.com. This entire stream is going to be available up there for that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for donating. Uh, remember, you can still donate. It's not closed. It is not closed. The link down at the bottom is not closed. Share it all over the place. Be able to give. We're at four hundred dollars right now, but if we can give more, we can give more. Ladies and gentlemen, the original ladies, for everyone here, Jamie, Dan Jones, Cole Johnson, I said thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Like you bombing numb. That's the way you be though. Matter of fact, I hit it easy like the ones on free throw. Everybody see though. Hearts off, hearts like an arsenal are coming after you. And even after news, I can come back and pack the two. Oh, yo, who's killing it better? Matter of fact, I am killing Kirby and Bayonetta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and of course, gentle ladies, I'm Joe Machado, co-creator of the Game Set Match podcast. Uh, two years ago, we came up with this idea of doing a podcast um, that really was just about hearing us speak. Uh, and things started to twist and change, and we realized that the podcast was really about the people around us, what they were experiencing. Um, and so a couple of weeks ago, actually late uh, February, we held our first ever Game Set Match Super Smash Bash uh, 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 in association with Extra Life uh, to give donations towards the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, also known as CHOP, for those of you who live in the area. Um, but we hit our donation and we hit our goal. And at the end of it, I spoke with the guys and and it really has been an amazing experience to not only be able to entertain you guys podcast-wise, but also to be able to give back. Um, it's a passion of all of ours, um, and to get that opportunity is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, especially for something that was created no less than a year and some change ago for two guys who really had no intent of, of having it be any bigger than it's become. And, you know, I'll be transparent. We're not quite to the place that we want to be um, size-wise because we want to continue to grow. Part of that is on uh, the way we connect with the people around us. Part of that is you guys for everyone who want, everyone who listens, everyone who watches. Uh, you know, we are incredibly, uh, we're incredibly rough. We're incredibly rugged. We are not professional to say the least, but we have heart, uh, determination, and um, a little bit of humor from some of us. Uh, but I am happy to announce, if you're watching the end of this hour-long escapade of the Game Set Match Super Smash Bash, that it will be returning November 5th. For those of you who know what November 5th is, that is Extra Life's Game Day, where millions of gamers around the world are going to be streaming, playing, performing, uh, to take all of these proceeds and give them towards Extra Life so that kids in hospitals have the opportunity to not only uh, get some new consoles, play some new games, but also uh, bring some joy to some lives, which is an honor uh, for us to be a part of. So November 5th, it's going to be the second ever Game Set Match Super Smash Bash. There will be more information to come as far as where it's going to be, but we do know that November 5th is going to be the day. Um, so for everyone watching, thank you for your support. Thank you for everything that you guys have done to, to get us to where we are and continue to help us to get bigger and bigger so that we can represent our communities, our areas in the best way possible. So ladies and gentlemen, and of course, gentle ladies, for myself here, co-creator of the Game Set Match Podcast. I'll see you guys next week.